Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. So, tuturo ko ngayon sa inyo yung Spearman Rank Correlation Coefficient or Spearman Draw. So, forgive me for the background noise kasi may ginagawa dito sa kapitbahay. So, ang method natin is test retest method. So, may given problem sa amin. Ito yun, sabi, Professor Rivera conducted a test to his 15 students in statistics class twice with one week interval. The test given after one week is exactly the same test during the first time it was conducted. Scores below were collected in the first test, which is the yun, yung x, and the second test is the y. Using test retest method, is the test reliable? So, ito yung issue na ginagawa ng mga teachers sa atin, ano, inuulit yung test sa atin. <laughs> Kaya tips, nalalahanin yung mga sagot. So, ayan. Ito si student, gagawa tayong table. Uh, yung table na to is actually given. Ito lang yung, ano, uh, fill up lang natin sila. So, student number 1 daw, in random, nakakuha siya ng 23 sa first test and 35 sa second test. So, tumaas siya. So, yung iba tumaas din naman, pero hindi ganun kataas. Okay, mga ilang points lang. So, ang unang gagawin natin, kita nyo may motor pa. <laughs> So, unang gagawin natin, irarank natin sila. Si student 1, uh, nung nakakuha siya ng 23, sa kanilang 15 students, sino kaya sa kanila yung top 1? Like, yung rank 1. So, para makuha natin yan, since Excel na yung gamit natin, magpo-formula tayo. So, thank you sa creator ng Excel. Ha. So, ang formula natin is equal sign rank dot AVG, kasi average, then parenthesis, and kunin lang muna natin to yung number na gusto nating i-rank. And then, we i, comma. Ayan, kung nakita na napunta sa reference. So, ang reference natin is ito. Aalamin niya, si number 23, yung M8 daw, pang ilan siya dun sa M8 up to M22. So, and close parenthesis. Uh, before I forgot, yung second, ano pala natin, formula ito, yung M8, up to M22, uh, press F4, para maglalagay siya ng dollar sign. Yan. So, yung dollar sign na yan will help us na para mag-drag down na lang tayo. Hindi natin itatype is isa yung formula. So, si student 1 daw is pang 4.5 nung unang test. So, like I said, thank you dun sa, ano, sa dollar sign kasi itadrag down na lang natin to. So, if you move here, you know, makikita nyo yung plus sign, and hit control, and drag down. Okay. So, makikita natin, in top 1, si student number 2. Gets ba? Okay. So, ganun din gagawin natin dito sa, ano, rank Y. So, yung rank of Y sa test 2. So, pero dito naman tayo magbe-base. Okay. Equal sign. Then, rank.avg. Then, parenthesis. Then, click nyo to. Since sya yung hanapan natin kung pa ilang rank. Then, comma. Highlight yung buong uh, column na yun. Kung saan sya ma... Yung reference nyo. And then, close parenthesis. Then, don't forget to highlight this one. The second formula. And, hit F4. Then, press enter. Yan, pang 2.5 na siya, so tumaas siya ng sobra. Sino kaya yung number 1? So, hanapin nyo lang yung kanto, to yung maliit na square na yan. Then, kailangan may plus sign, then hit control, mini plus, and then drag down. So, ang lupit na ito, student number 2, siya pa din yung uh, number 1, okay? So, si number 2 naging 2.5 na lang. Okay, so, mapapansin nyo, bakit missing yung ibang numbers? So, okay lang yan. Okay, tama yan sa Excel. <laughs> so, para naman dun sa hindi naka-Excel, I will teach you kung paano uh, mag-compute ng mano-mano. Pero, dito ko gagawin sa Excel. So, naka-ready na ako ito. <laughs> so, kunari, ganyan. Uh, saway muna yung kinuha ko. Ah. Uh, copy na lang natin to sa X. So, kakopy mo siya. So, kunari sa papel to. Ah. So, ipipaste mo dyan. Okay, nasulat ko na. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo sa kanya, i-arrange mo siya from highest to lowest. So, since naka-excel tayo, mapalad mga naka-excel. Kaya, i-arrange natin largest to smallest. Continue with the current selection. 
Ayan. Kunwari, sa mga nakapapel, nasulat mo ng ganyan. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo naman, uh, wag mo kalimutan tong student number, kasi 15 lang sila. At uh, it doesn't matter kung, ano, kung sino yung, ano, kung sino yung, uh, naka-26 talaga. Kunwari dito, student number 2 naka-26 eh. Hindi, wag mo pakailaman yan. So, ngayon, i kasi doon tayo magbe-base ng rank. So, student 1, let's say, rank 1 siya. Student 2, rank 2. Student 3, rank 3. So, paano naman to? Si student number 4 tsaka 5, pares sila ng score. Hindi naman pwedeng lalagay ko dito. Si student number 4, since ano siya, let's say, surname niya is B. So, siya yung 4. And ito, surname niya C, so pang 5 siya. No, hindi po patas yun. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, magpo-formula tayo. So, ganito lang yung pag-compute. Okay lang kahit sa papel. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, equal sign. Siyempre, hindi nyo susulat sa papel to. Ha? Ang gagawin nyo lang is kukunin nyo yung student number. So, ito yun. 4 plus 5. And then, i-divide natin siya sa 2. And we get 4.5. So, para patas sila. Hindi yung porket surname. You know? So, ito naman si student number 6. Since 4.5 to, ang lalagay ba natin dito is 5? Hindi po. Ang lalagay natin dyan ay 6. As is siya dun sa student number. As sa rank din. Kasi, parang imagine nyo na lang na si student number 23, uh, siya yung pang, ay, si student number 4, <laughs> siya yung pang 4, and si student number 5, siya yung pang 5. Pero, in ranking, pareha sila. Okay, ganun din gagawin nyo sa iba. As is to, si 20, student number 7. So, okay, continue tayo. Sorry, nag-cut yung video. So, tuloy natin to. So, dito tayo sa student number 8. So, paano nga ulit? Equal sign. Then, we add this to. Yung rank nila, ay yung student number nila. So, parang position kasi nila yun. Then, divide nyo sa 2. So, 8.5 sila pareho. So, kunwari, ito na. Paano naman to? Pag tatlo. So, pag ganyan, kukunin mo lang yung lowest student number tsaka yung highest student number. So, mangyayari nyan, 10 plus 12 then you divide it by 2 so rank 11 sila ok so di ko na natatapusin continue na tayo sa ating table so tsaka nalagay ko na din dito so now hanapin natin yung differences so yan yung d para mahanap natin yan sabi dito to get the d rx minus ry so very easy lang yan Gawin natin, kuna natin to, which is 4.5, subtract to 2.5 sa rank Y. Rank X minus rank Y. So, 2. So, try naman natin dito. Okay. So, last one. As for example. Okay. So, ganun lang din dito. Yan. Okay, i-rewind na lang kung di nyo na gets or need clarifications. So, para naman makuha natin yung differences squared. So, alam naman natin kung paano mag-squared. It means, mumultiply natin ng dalawang beses yung base, which is yung D. So, dito, ang D natin is 2. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, equal sign. So, 2 multiplied by 2. So, 4. Dito pala sa differences natin, uh, okay matakot kung may negative kasi i-squared naman natin siya. So, magiging positive siya. So, ito na. I think alam na naman. 0 times 0. 0. So, 3 naman. 3 times 3. Ay, na wala. Sorry. 9. Okay. So, likewise with the others sa baba. Ganyan. So, you see, wala siyang negative Kasi nga, in-square natin siya. Negative times negative is positive. Okay, and then, i-total natin siya. Again, auto sum. Then, press enter. Ay, sorry. 65. So, ngayon, ito yung sum of, sum of d squared. So, um, next is, papakita ko sa inyo yung formula and yung computation na. Okay, so, ito yung formula natin para sa Spearman 
computation na. Spear man raw computation natin. So, RS equals to 1 minus 6 summation of T squared over N3 minus 2. So, ano yung summation of D squared? So, yun yung kinawa natin kanina. Yung total nung D squared natin which is 65. And yung N naman, ito ay number of students. So, meron tayong 15. Okay. Madali lang to guys. So, ngayon, i-substitute na natin sila. Wait lang. I-copy muna natin ulit yung uh, formula. So, magiging 1 minus 6 parenthesis 65 so, yung 15 natin i-cube natin siya. Okay. So, 6 times 65. Yes, mag-calculator po kayo. 390 over... So, ako kasi, dinadiretso ko na lahat na pwede i-compute. So, 15 raised to 3 is equals to 3375 minus 15. Okay. So, i-minus... Sorry, minus pala to. So, minus 390 over 37 pi minus 15 is 3,360. So, kung i-divide mo yan, that is equals to 0 0.88393. Nag-calculator po ako, <laughs> hindi po ako mga hula. <laughs> so, kinukuha namin yung 5 decimals muna, pero ang final answer namin... is 2 decimals. So, sinubtract ko na pala yan, ha? 390, divide nyo na to, kasi kung may scientific calculator kayo, pwede na siyang idiretso. So, 1 minus 390 over 3,360, so, that is equals to 0.88393. And in short, this equals to 8, 0.88. So, syempre, meron tayong uh, words dyan. Interpretation. Okay, now for our interpretation, we start our first with the strength of relationship. So, huwag napansin itong blue na to. So, ang nakuha natin, di ba, is 0 0.88. So, andito siya, so 0 0.71 to 0 0.90, which means high or marked relationship. Now, when it comes to our interpretation of reliability, we are here. High reliability, which means very good for a classroom test. Now, we put that into words. Ito yun. Sorry. Ayan. The Spearman raw value obtained is 0 0.88, which denotes high relationship. This means that students who got high score in statistics test, yun yung test nila, on the first administration also got high score in the second administration. And those who got low score in the first administration also got low score in the second administration. Hence, the rest has a high reliability and it is very good for a classroom test. So, kung may papansin nyo, talagang pinot in two words lang natin siya. So, 0 0.88, sinabi doon, high relationship, we got that, high or marked relationship. And, reliability of the test has a high reliability, which is in nga, 0 0.81 to 0 0.90, high reliability. So, yun lang guys, I hope may natutunan kayo in this video. And if there are any questions, please comment down and I'll try my best to answer it. And thank you din sa mga sumasagot ng mga questions ng iba nating students or mga nagtatanong. God bless on your ACADs. Stay safe.